So you need to study for the FE exam and you're wondering what subjects will be on the exam? What is the breakdown of the possible questions that you will see? In this week's edition of Pass the FE Exam, I will walk you through exactly how to find out what types of problems and how many of each you will encounter on the FE exam. But first, let me remind you that the FE exam, or Fundamentals of Engineering, is the first step to getting your professional engineering license. And through the videos on this channel, including this one, you will learn not only how to properly prepare for the exam, but how to ensure that you pass the FE exam. So please be sure to subscribe to my channel here, as my weekly videos will help you pass the FE exam. And if you leave questions in the comments below, I will answer them on future videos. First, a few basic things about the FE exam. The exam includes 110 questions and the exam appointment time is six hours long with about five hours and 20 minutes of that time being actual exam time. You can register for the exam through the National Council of Examiners for Engineering and Surveying or NCWS at their website at ncws.org. The FE exam is a computer-based exam administered year-round at NCWS approved Pearson View test centers. So, what is the breakdown of the possible questions that you will see? To figure this out, you should visit the NCWS website, specifically this URL, ncws.org forward slash engineering forward slash FE. You can see the URL on the screen here, and I'll put a link in the comments. There you will see the seven disciplines that the FE exam is offered in. Chemical, civil, electrical and computer, environmental, industrial and systems, mechanical, and other disciplines. If you click on the discipline that you are planning to take, you will be taken to a document known as the exam specifications that lists the different knowledge areas. For example, mathematics and statistics, statics, dynamics, just to name a few. And you will also see next to each knowledge area, the approximate number of questions that will be on the exam for that area. So for example, on the FE Civil exam, it shows that there will be eight to 12 questions on statics, but only four to six questions on dynamics. Being aware of this breakdown prior to beginning your study preparation can help you to really ensure that you're dedicating enough time and energy to each knowledge area. So essentially, this is a two-step process. Step one, decide on which discipline of the FE exam you plan to take. And step two, visit the NCWS website and review the exam specifications for that specific discipline. I hope you found this week's video helpful. In upcoming videos, I will be solving some practice problems for each of the different knowledge areas on the FE exam. Past the FE exam will publish videos weekly, so please be sure to click the subscribe button as you'll get expert tips and tricks, including practice problem solutions weekly to ensure that you pass the FE exam. And these are tips that you can't get anywhere else. And believe me, you won't want to miss a single video. And again, I please encourage you to ask questions in the comments that I will read and respond to in future videos. Maybe there's a specific topic you'd like me to cover or a specific question that you need answered. Pass the FE exam, we'll have you covered. I'll see you next week.